<laughs> they say everybody needs a hug now and then. Mary and the gang. I think we all need some Kleenex. Harry and the girls. <laughs> Joey and Chandler. Yeah, you hug me. All right. <laughs> But Jackie Samuels has taken this fundamental need to a whole new level. I want to make sure you're comfortable and that I'm comfortable. What do you do? I cuddle. You cuddle? Yeah. Professional cuddler. Professional cuddler. Samuels' business, based in Rochester, New York, is called The Snuggery. For 60 bucks, she'll cuddle with a stranger for an hour. For 300 bucks, she'll spend the night. And to be clear, what she's doing, she insists, is strictly cuddling. We're talking hugging and holding. Think PG, not R-rated. What are the boundaries? No touching where undergarments cover and no kissing. And close stay on. Samuels claims her business yields tangible benefits. It has been scientifically proven that human touch releases something called oxytocin, or the happiness hormone, in our brains. People are on the internet, they're isolated, they're buying things to make us happy, and we aren't acknowledging that we have a very basic need to be touched and to touch others. Her customers, she says, vary. Some might surprise you. There's so much diversity in my client body. They range from 20 all the way up to 85. There are people from construction workers to doctors to financial consultants. Everybody's probably unmarried, I would imagine. I have married clients. Really? Mm -hmm. Who are say, my spouse doesn't like to cuddle that much? Right. I have one married client whose spouse knows that he comes to me, but she has anxiety about touch and I think she supported him in coming to me. Sharif Bador is among Samuel's customers. Tired of the time and expense of dating, he argues Samuel's service fills a very real need in a very upfront way. No mind games, no pressure to take Samuel's out to dinner or call her the next day. I think everyone could use more affection and hugs in their life. So I got that benefit of the affection that everyone goes for with a little bit simpler rules than day-to-day -day life. But while Samuels has her fans, she also has her critics. Some have called what she does prostitution. Her controversial business even got this single mom kicked out of graduate school. Some people have said that what you're doing is akin to prostitution. How do you react to that? It's just so obvious to me that this is nothing to do with prostitution. Nobody's being degraded, nobody's unsafe. We're not breaking any laws. Samuel says, if anything, her business is following a law, the law of nature that says, at the end of the day, every human needs love. So interesting to watch the reactions on the set. <laughs> so I look at Ron Claymore. <laughs> <laughs> that says it all. Yeah. It says it all. all right.